We're on our second leg of the Gippsland tour and we're at the Tarwin River with Corey and the boys. Corey, you looking forward to a great trip? Yeah, myself and the boys are ready to go, Kev. Today's cruise sees us on the other side of Wilson's Prom along the Tarwin River. The Tarwin River is among the best of Victoria's estuary systems. It flows into Anderson Inlet. Today's ride takes us through lush cane grass plains that line this section of the river. On very high tides in the evening, look for newly covered grass flats at the mouth of the river. It is a good opportunity to catch some of the local perch. The estuary has many shallow sandbars, so if you're unfamiliar with the area, take things nice and easy, particularly near the mouth of the river. The riverside village of Tarwin Lower is 160 kilometres from Melbourne, 25 kilometres from Inverloch. Offers a relaxed lifestyle by the beautiful Tarwin River, which is the centre of activity with fishing, water skiing and PWC use. Very popular. If you're a landlubber, there is plenty to see and do including tennis, bushwalking and abundance of wildlife. Stroll along the boardwalks, view the bird life and enjoy the peace and serenity on offer. And as always, when touring these areas where there's vegetation and wildlife, adhere to the speed limits signposted. Tarwin Lower gained notoriety in 1877 when Martin Weinberg, a ship's carpenter, concealed 5,000 sovereigns in the handles of his tools and escaped ship in Melbourne. He turned up at Tarwin Lower and was arrested and jailed for five years. Some sovereigns were found on the riverbank, but most were never recovered. Excellent beaches are close by at Venus Bay, so there is always something to see and do in this part of the prom country. Tarwin Lower today is a fast growing tourism destination and residential coastal village with good fishing, great services, well worth the time to explore.